Hello, my friends. What's going on, everybody? It's your friend Keith, here again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got an awesome guitar to show you today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join the circle of friends, and I'm going to show you awesome guitars I buy from all over the world, each and every day, and uh, we show them up close and personal, so you get a good idea of what they look like as if you were holding them in your very own hands. Learn some cool specs and features and interesting factoids about them. And uh, we just have a good time drooling over cool guitars, guys. Cool. So now about this one. I bought this new from a dealer who uh, wanted to move it. They wanted to shift it. They got it from the European distributor. I guess it had been sitting in a warehouse for a number of years because it was built in 2013. They got it in 2016. I bought it from them at the very end of 2016. And I've had it for a long time. I actually sold it to a collector down the street from me who never played it. Had it for, for a few months and he sold it right back to me. So this thing is new old stock. It's never been played. It's one of one in the world. It's the only one in the spec. And what's really cool about this Jackson Custom Shop Soloist is, for one, the headstocks. You've got a reverse headstock with the outline Jackson logo, which I'm in love with. Jackson Custom Shop on the truss rod cover. Ebony fretboard with single inlay. This is something we've been seeing a lot lately. I don't know if this is just a new trend for the you know, 2000 teens, it does seem that uh, inlays are out of style these days. You're seeing more and more guitars being ordered with no inlays. So it's just very different. It stands out. And of course, you've got your fret position markers on the binding on the side. Binding's really beautiful, guys. You've got twin EMG 81s. This is a Kirk Hammett spec. I guess you could say the classic Kirk Hammett spec pickup configuration, dual 81s, string through body, incredible resonance and sustain, guys. You've got a really nice three-way toggle switch here. It, uh, it just feels great. And here is the custom shop certificate, which actually when I bought it, it didn't have one. It had the hang tags, which you can see here. But it didn't have a certificate. And so I talked to the owner of the, uh, it's, I think they're, if they're not the largest guitar uh, store here in the UK, they're one of them. And he flew out to NAMM for the NAMM show in Los Angeles and met with the uh, executives at Jackson and, and got me a certificate straight from them, which is awesome. The candy cola finish, let me just kind of get in focus here. Let's go over here. You can kind of see it there. It's like a deep metallic pearl type finish. It's really nice. There we go. And let's go ahead and pull it out and show you the back side here. New condition, there's, it's really hard to see. There's like a little, there's a tiny little thing on the tip right there. That's how I got it from the dealer. It's always been that way. Um, and then when I also got it from them, there was, there's just a few light that's really hard to see. There's like a few light pick scratches. You can kind of see it right there. I haven't tried to buff it or anything, but um, obviously someone demoed it and left a couple very light in the clear coat pig scratches there. But it is exactly as I received it, brand new from the dealer when I bought it in 2016. I bought it as new old stock to sell through our shop 
on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, and you'll see this on Reverb.com also, guys. If you want to buy it, just get in touch. Hit me up on Facebook. It's our Essex Recording Studios page. Um, we've got it on our Instagram stories for today. It's had hundreds of views off the guitar hashtag. And it's just an awesome one-of-a-kind soloist, guys. I hope uh, you get a kick out of it. Let me know what you think about this headstock. I think it's a nice departure from uh, the traditional Mother of Pearl logo or 80s white logo. I really like it. And the truss rod cover, too. You don't usually see that. It's something they've started to do a little bit more. But, yeah, really cool. And the controversial one inlay. I want your opinion on that, guys. I think it looks rad. Me, personally, I'm a flashy guy. I like a lot of bling. So, um, I had a custom shop for Randy Rhodes with abalone shark fins. If I was to order a guitar for myself, it would probably come with abalone shark fins. But that's just me. Awesome, guys. All right, well, that's the video. I've got a lot more to do for you. It's uh, it's Sunday. We've got a band coming in to record tomorrow, Youth Illusion. And then we should have Dan Hawkins from The Darkness in here on Tuesday, hopefully. So, yeah, guys, got a lot going on. More videos coming your way. Stick around on the channel, and I will see you guys soon with another guitar.